Hi, today I'm going to show you some of the special content blocks that you'll find installed in the new WordPress Gutenberg editor if you've got the Yoast SEO plugin installed. So over here on the right, you can see I've got the Yoast SEO plugin installed and there's a, a special type of content block that you can find under Yoast Structure Data Blocks. It comes in uh, two types. There's a how-to, we'll add that, and then the other one is called FAQ. Okay, so why would you want to use these blocks? Well, it's more than just having a nice interface. Um, these blocks actually organize the data so that they're more optimized for search engines. So if you've ever been on Google and uh, you asked a question and you discovered uh, FAQs or step-by-step -step instructions at the top of the results, that's because they're using structured data that's behind the scenes. You usually don't see this uh, anywhere in the editor. Uh, but if uh, once we fill this out, we'll take a look at the source code and then you'll be able to see uh, what it looks like. And I've included a link to an article uh, by Yoast that actually explains all of that. So uh, the first block we have here, this is the how to, um, hang on, let's select, there we go. Uh, this is the how to block and what it does is, um, it, it basically is a step-by-step -step instruction, or you could actually use this for recipes if you wanted to. Um, note that it recommends you only, or Yoast recommends only putting one block per post. So you want to keep that in mind. So uh, just for fun, I'm going to uh, create one that shows how to make a cup of coffee. Okay, so total time. This be four minutes, and then how to make cup of cup of coffee. Okay, so first thing you need is get beans. Get some gourmet beans. And I've already preloaded some of these images, so I'm going to select one of these. And um, then we'll add the next step. Grind beans. Grind beans at setting. Add another image. This one of grinder. And uh, then or boiling water over beans. Actually, we'll just call it, uh, let's call it pour water. Pour over bean, pour over grounds actually. Believe it or not, I actually was a barista at one time, so. I should know what I'm talking about, but this is just to demonstrate how this thing works. Okay, and then at the end, enjoy, enjoy your coffee while working with WordPress. All right, then the very last image is this one. And uh, that is uh, about it. Let's uh, preview it in another window. We'll be able to see what it looks like. So here we have, um, it gives you the time, gives you the description, and uh, you know, there's nothing, nothing that looks that great. However, what I'm gonna do is I am going to Uh, inspect this element so that way we can kind of see what is going on in here um, so what I have right now is uh, we, this whole block this uh, WP block Yoast how to block 
what it has is it's got all of these descriptors um, that is using um, uh, meta tags from uh, schema.org and uh, more of that information I, I'm going to actually include uh, in the video description but uh, what it has it's got this this extra data and if we go up to right here where it says script application LD JSON um, and open that up you'll see all of this data now we don't actually see it you don't uh, for example if I scroll up to the top um, this as I'm hovering over the different uh, HTML elements you see this div tag that has everything but the uh, this script is invisible at least it's invisible to us the thing is that Google and search engines will actually, they can actually translate this into, uh, su into um, uh, they, they can actually understand what this is. This is the structured data that's in there. And this is, this is useful if you want your uh, information to appear in a, a special way in, uh, in Google or other search engines. Um, I don't want to go into the the details as to uh, what that looks like. There's a uh, you, you could spend hours um, researching it and everything, but I just want to show you uh, how this appears in um, on on the web page. So if this was a live site, what would happen is that as Google is uh, crawling the site, it would be able to uh, look at this information and see what exactly uh, it is. It would it would help Google understand that hey these are actually instructions and so I could display it in a different way. Okay I'm gonna close that and then go back to the post and then we'll take a look at the next uh, block which is an FAQ. The FAQ is similar to the how-to structured data block except it's a lot a uh, lot simpler. So um, we'll, uh, I'll just add, let's see, what makes a great pet? And I'm going to put in fluffy bunnies. And then I'll put in a photo of a fluffy bunny. And there's a cute fluffy bunny there. Um, and then if you if you wanted to you could add more questions um, I'll preview this and so as you see there's nothing there's nothing that looks that great uh, this is using by the way this is using the uh, default 2019 uh, WordPress theme so the way that this is displayed is going to appear differently. In fact, um, just for fun, I'm going to I'm going to publish this post. We'll view it, and then we're going to go into the customizer. And change the theme to let's change it to 2017 I just realized that because I'm running this on um, on Safari and it's a local uh, installation of WordPress it's, it's actually the live preview doesn't actually work so here's the uh, Here's the 2017 theme. Notice it looks a lot different, um, but it's pretty much the same. You've you've got the steps, and uh, then you got the FAQ down at the bottom. More than likely, if we were going to do this do this the right way, um, what we'd want to do is uh, add a a heading. You know how to 
make coffee. And then above this, we'd add another heading, uh, something about pets. So anyway, uh, that's how the uh, structured uh, box work. Um, to go uh, back over here, you can uh, change a couple of things here. You can change this to an unordered list. Um, that's probably not very good for a recipe, but you could use it uh, in that case. There's probably a, a Gutenberg block actually just for recipes. If not right now, it, it'll probably be a matter of time. Somebody will come up with it. Uh, you can change how the how the uh, description of du duration uh, is. So you can say, I don't know how long till I get my coffee, so forth. Anyway, that's, that's how that works. And uh, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. You can check out my website for more information on WordPress at AaronTweeten.com. Thanks for watching.